Hey guys, we have a haul. I'm going to Turks and Caicos, so I did a little bit of damage. I will be trying everything on, so yeah. Also, just a little disclaimer, I was sent some of these items. This video is not sponsored, but yeah, I'll list that in the below. I'll also list sizes down there, and I'll have links to everything. So, without further ado, let's get into my 2022 vacation haul. Can't wait to show you guys what I got. Where should I even begin? Right, actually, yeah, no. I think I'm going to start with Frankie's bikinis because I'll just start it off strong. Why not? Got two bikinis from Frankie's. I always love their stuff so first up we have this really cute this one's my favorite of the two this really cute like lime green yellow bikini but then it has this little waist detail and the little pink charms that's really cute for the top my favorite top style is just like a triangle top so obsessed with that the second one i got i love the bottoms i kind of wish i would have got a triangle top but basically they're just red and white and then there's like a little wrap around tie that goes around your waist so it's very flattering. Sorry, I just burped, excuse me. And then I have the matching top which is kind of like a sportier top. Also very cute, I feel like the red with the tan will be cute. Then I'm gonna kind of do some of the one-off pieces. Um, I purchased this from Flo Molly, me and Josie decided we were gonna do like one kind of like fancy night while we're in Turk. So I may wear this, I may wear one of the other dresses, which I'll show you. If you know me, I'm not a dress girl. In fact, I feel so uncomfortable in a dress. It is a beautiful gold color. If I don't wear this on the trip, this would be really pretty for like a summer wedding. Obviously it needs a steam, but it is pretty much full length. There's a little slit and then top is just like this and then there's a cutout along the waistline and it ties in the back love hella molly for dresses especially if you're going wedding guest shopping that's where i got a few from last year as well is there anything i'm crazy for this one i have a vision so i ordered this from like oh i don't know what it's even called i it's like a hunting web i don't it's this real tree if you want this pattern it's called real tree camouflage zip up hoodie and i thought with like a cute bikini underneath maybe this one on the beach follow my instagram i'm gonna post it and you're gonna be like that was cute or it's gonna look terrible then i'm gonna move on to some accessories and stuff there are two vintage hats on poshmark i would recommend poshmark or depop i love the colors of this one and then i also got a vintage harley davidson one which i don't know if that's still cool or not probably not but i thought because it's like actually like the vintage logo it's tied too tight cute but yeah both of these were like 15 bucks okay then we're gonna do sunnies i have two new pairs of sunglasses i'm actually waiting on two more i have problem I have a problem first pair are from Vela they looked like yellow on the website but in person they're like the perfect neutral so fucking cute they're really well made and the case is also adorable it's like so sleek and then I just picked up um, Versace one you can find these on sale honestly a lot of places they just have the gold emblem on the side they're kind of like I don't know, I feel like they would look good on anyone. We're gonna move on to shoes. I am obsessed with these. I'm gonna give Josie full credit for finding them, but I was looking for a dupe for the Isabel Moran. <sighs> Lenya, is that what it's called? I'll put it on the screen and I'll put a picture. I think these are so fucking cute, but they are $600 and I just. You know? So these were still a little bit pricey, but they're really good quality. They're like suede with the silver hardware, all the embellishment. Oh! We actually both got them because she sent them to me and I was like, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to get those as well. Revolve. This bag I fully purchased on my own. It's very inexpensive, but I thought cute for the beach. Like a little transparent brown bag. Let's do dresses first. We'll do bikinis last. Why did I get so many dresses if I don't like dresses? Fabulous question. I don't know. They're also all I believe under a hundred dollars. So I found the ones the first one is this like cobalt blue It's a little bit deeper than a true cobalt. It's not super bright. It's like a little mini dress I feel like this is giving me Miami vibes So if you're going to Miami, this would be a good one to try out this next one is but I really do love the cut Don't think if you have like a bigger chest it will work for you. Just being honest. There's no support basically in the top It's like a red mini dress 
out and the color of it is so stunning it's like almost like a faded red kind of with the tan it's just so pretty then we have this brown dress which i didn't think i was gonna like so much but i am obsessed you guys i feel like this is perfect going to get coffee but you can also wear it out dress it up there's a little slit it's like a midi dress it's double lined so it's really not see-through or anything hugs you in tight the color is like a deep brown my favorite color this is so good it's a little bit pricier sorry but it is very very cute fits like so so well especially for like a bandeau top such a pretty color it's like a rust you know how i love my small top i have no boobs so just let me have this then i got these pants um i think they would work better on someone with fuller hips they're very small at the waist and they have quite a big bit of room the butt and thigh area they are nice and long my favorite part is the kind of like straight flare leg with the slip detail one last pair of pants so we have black little flare pants these are not going to be like your thick tight tugging pants they're definitely more of a lounge pant national weather service snow squall at 315 really it is sunny also like what is a squall cool part is they have that wraparound detail of love these so first up is a one-off i have white bottoms so i'm hoping i can just pair this with those i know like the buckle detail is that kind of lame but i just thought it was cute like white a little sporty moment with like the cutout buckle i don't know i liked it i guess this is the squall again this bikini is super affordable it's their super down brand in this gorgeous neon orange not really the true color it's really like a bright light orange the bottoms i always size up in bottoms because you can always tie them tighter i hate it when they like cut in on the side top is just another plain triangle on this one you can tie two ways have the straps connect the back string or i think you can pull these out and just wear it as like a halter which is what i think i'm gonna end up doing because it just fits a little better that way i have this bikini from revolve it's lovers and friends is the brand gorgeous cobalt and then it has a slight shimmer to it the triangle top and it just fits so good and i left my favorite bikini for last i am more than obsessed with it bikini bottoms are disappearing they are so small but i'm gonna wear it anyways they're so cute. And the top is so flattering. I just feel like I love it. Now we're gonna go on to jewelry. I just have Amazon jewelry. I feel like I got really cute stuff and it's all really inexpensive. So I'll start out with the waist chain that I got. Coins reflect the sun on skin. Like it looks really pretty. Then I got a little anklet. How cute are my ankles gonna be this summer? This one's cool because it wraps double. So it's like you're wearing two. Got some hoops. So I have a prediction that big hoops are gonna make a comeback, especially dainty ones. These are so thin and stunning. And the last pair are these little like detailed hoops. So they're kind of like braided. I thought just like to change. I love them. They're so pretty. I think that's all that I have. Of course, share more on and my whole trip on Instagram and TikTok. So be sure to follow me on those. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It means a lot to me and it helps me out a lot. So I would really appreciate it. Get ready for a Turks and Caicos vlog. I'll see you guys there. Gotta get a thumbnail. Do people still do these thumbnails like this? Oh.